everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be showing you five different ideas that you could do with watercolours. Now if like me you're currently in lockdown because of Covid, these are some ideas that you could do to banish that boredom. So let's get straight into these ideas. For this idea I'm using a biro drawing that I had already drawn. So if you haven't seen this video I'm going to put this in the description box so you can go and see how I created this drawing with a biro. And I'm using the wet and wet method with my watercolours and I'm going to be putting down a very loose layer of my colour and just letting that move across the page. I had wet my paper ever so slightly where I wanted my watercolour paints to go so that the paint would only move in the areas that I had placed that water. And I'm gradually changing from my blue all the way to my red across my chameleon to make sure that it looks as though it's it's got those different colours to it and I'm really pleased with how this is looking so I'm just using the wet and wet method and making sure that my colours all mould and blend into one another to give the effect of the chameleon changing colour. Now this is a really good project for you to do at home because you could do some nice biro drawings and then you could add some interest to those biro drawings by adding some paint over the top. This one is a really good one for getting nice clean lines in between your watercolour work and I'm going to start by dividing up my page with my washi tape to create some interesting shapes across my page and you can do these in any direction that you want to to create interest on your work. Next up I then add a watercolour wash across my page and I start with my blues and then I go across my page to gradually turn to green and then a yellow because I want my overall piece to be a nice transition from the blues to a yellow. And to create my watercolour wash I just add my water to my tin lid and add some colour to that to create a very light basic colour before putting that down onto my page. Then within each of the little triangles that I've got here I'm going to practice different watercolour techniques. So I'm going to practice my gradient washes along with the wet and wet method to create a little bit of interest across my page and I'm going to blend a few of my different colours together in order to highlight that transition from the blue to the yellow. And I work from the bottom to the top of my work to incorporate all of those different techniques. This is a really fun one for you to try out if you are practicing different watercolour methods and you are able to then show a different technique in each of the triangles. This would also be a really good way for you to present your work if you are showing different techniques in a sketchbook, for example, if you are taking GCSE art. And then my absolute favorite part of this is to then remove all of my washi tape and then it leaves that really nice, clean, crisp edge along my painting, which I just find so satisfying and the end results always look really, really cool. This next technique is the wax resist technique and this is one that kids absolutely love. So you're going to take a candle or a wax crayon or an oil pastel and draw your drawing over your paper using fairly hard pressure because you want enough of that wax to embed on your paper. Then I'm just using my wet and wet method to create a really loose background for my drawing and I just am going to go in with a very abstract form for this because I don't want there to be a lot of information or detail in the background of my piece. I then start painting over the areas where I have added my wax and as you can see the images are starting to come through because that wax acts as a barrier to the watercolours on my paper. Because wax and water do not like each other, it's a really good way to create a nice bright image on your page. And I'm just adding the wet and wet method over the top of my wax to create this image of the jellyfish. And like I said, this is one that kids absolutely love creating because they can create secret messages or secret drawings within their watercolour painting. 
and then this is the finished result as you can see we have just got those white lines that have been created with the wax on paper this watercolour painting idea is hugely popular, people really tend to enjoy this one and it is to create your own galaxy. So this one is a really nice one for you to come up with your own galaxy or your own little universe and completely decide how this looks. And for this one I add my paint across my page first using a really light wash. It does look a little bit messy to begin with but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be continuing to work into it until we're happy with how the overall painting looks. And for this one I have decided that I'm using only one paint from my palette so this is a good way to practice varying the tonal values of one paint. And I have chosen just to use my indigo blue. And I'm controlling the paint pigment by either picking up more paint on my paintbrush or loosening the paint with additional water. And I'm using the wet and wet method for this so my paint is still wet on my paper and I'm adding to that with additional wet paint and all of those colours start to blend and mould into one another to create a nice look across my page. And you just need to keep working into it until you're happy with your composition of your little galaxy and keep building up lighter and darker colours across the page. Then let that dry fully before you add spatter stars across your work. Just be careful though because it can be very, very messy. This last idea is essentially like the blob painting challenge so I'm just going to create some really random shapes with my watercolour paint and then I'm going to use a straw to blow out those blobs to create some interesting shapes and once I have created these shapes I'm then going to let my work completely dry before then working on top of it. Now that the paint is completely dry I'm going to use one of my pens to add a character on top of that blob of paint and I'm just using one of my graphic pens but you could use a biro if you have a biro and I'm just thinking about the different shapes of my blob and creating a character on top. So I've created a character with a massive smiley face here and some little ears and then I'm thinking about it um, underneath this yellow blob and how it looks like it could be dancing. So I'm going to create two little characters that are dancing underneath a disco ball because I thought, you know, it's just going to add a little bit of fun to this work. And I can imagine that children would really enjoy this activity, especially as there's not a lot of pressure on getting an absolutely perfect drawing in here. It's all about just experimentation with shape and working with what you've got. Let me know in the comments which one of these five watercolour ideas you're going to try at home. And if you do try any of them out, make sure you post them on Instagram and tag me in your work. So there you have it, those were all of my different ideas for watercolour painting to help you with boredom. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video, if you have give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, I post every single Tuesday and Saturday so subscribe so you don't miss out on those ones and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>